morning or good afternoon. Uh, this is Stuart Blumenthal, uh, based upon where you're located. That's a good morning or good afternoon. I'm the Intag Practice Director here, and what we're going to be talking about is the Sage Intag 2022 R4 release that goes into effect tonight, actually, and we'll talk about that today and how that all works. Uh, just for a couple of quick logistics, this presentation is about 20 minutes. Um, the phone lines are muted, unfortunately, because of the number of people on this call. So if anyone has any questions, please use the uh, questions feature within the go to web go to webinar. Um, you can also, if you want a copy of this presentation, again, just put your email address in the um, questions area, and I will know to make sure that this is going to be sent over to you. Um, just a couple other logistics. Um, we have a year-end processing webinar, our most popular webinar uh, that's next month. Uh, December 8th, 12 o'clock Central Time, uh, 10 o'clock Pacific, 1 o'clock Eastern, um, where we will be going over all the year-end processing aspects. We will be spending a lot of time on how to handle 1099s, but we'll also be talking about pr best practices for year-end close and really month-end close. So we'll be going over all that uh, next month. If you haven't registered, please feel free to do so. Um, and again, uh, you should have gotten an email with that link. If you don't have the link, um, I can also just email that to you. Uh, so basically, what's the agenda? Just going over the new features. And it's going to be released tonight. So what Sage does is that once a quarter, it's the second month of the year, uh, the second month, sorry, the second month of the quarter. So February, uh, May, um, sorry, uh, <laughs> July, or August, and now November, they, on a Friday after Friday um, evening, usually the second week, just like today is, um, they will do the update. And this update goes in effect around eight o'clock Pacific time. Um, so that's 10 o'clock central time. Uh, but if you're on a Friday night doing that type of uh, work, doing accounting work, um, it's probably not the best night to be doing it anyway. Um, the system will get you kicked off. Um, you'll be down for about a couple hours, and then um, at that point, um, you can get in. They will not send an email notification or anything like that. Once you're able to log in, um, you'll be good. Um, there is a SWAT team that Sage has in case there's any issues that's, sta that's on standby for the next couple of days, which is great. Um, but if there is any, you know, if there's any issues that you guys run into afterwards, always feel free to reach us here at Ethos Systems. We'll make sure that those issues are um, addressed and resolved as quickly as possible and escalated. So, what are the changes that are going into effect? Uh, the first one is a really, really, really cool product called Sage Estimating. And for those that are, are doing a lot of estimating, going out um, and, you know, building, building or something along this line and have a lot of costs in there, estimating is one of the most important aspects of making sure you're making money. Um, the Sage Estimating tool has been around for a long time, and that tool now integrates with Sage Intact. So we're really excited about that. Um, we will be doing a demo on Sage Estimating January 12th of next year. Um, if you want to see something ahead of time, please feel free to contact us here at Ethos. Uh, but we'll be doing a webinar on that product and showing how it integrates with Sage Intact. The other feature that has come out is the Construction Payroll Early Adopter Program. And let me explain that. That is the Early Adopter Program. So meaning that this is a product that we have been watching and helping uh, for the last year and a half uh, getting developed. Actually, it's been two years. Sorry, it's been a lot longer. And, you know, watching it been part of the testing process. Uh, people in our firm like John Crowley has been have been um, training in it, learning it, setting it up. Um, so we're excited that it's now in the early adopter program. What that means is that it's still not available for public consumption. Um, for some companies that are maybe, you know, 10 to 20 employees, this is a good time to jump onto the product. If you have more than that number of employees, I am, we are recommending to wait till the general release. Um, if you have, you know, complexity, again, I don't want to have someone early, right on the early um, release of the product, but again, it's a great product, a uh, great module that they, it's um, going to be for general release sometime the first quarter of 2023. 
Um, if you want to see a demo of it, there's a video link I could send to you. Also, we can do, also do a personalized demo. We would get the company that wrote it, whose name is Penta. Um, it's, um, they've been working very strategically with um, Sage, and we can get a personalized demo with them if you want. Some of the other questions that we're getting is what is coming out long term in the construction edition? So um, these are slated, and I've got a keyword here. These are slated for 2023. Um, release dates have not been set yet, but I do want people to know what is being worked on in the product as we move forward. Uh, first of all, additional reporting. So um, everyone's been, you know, hey, I want another report. I want more reports. So Sage has been working on them. For example, one that we have now, they came out with um, that's awesome. If you want this loaded on your system, let us know, send me an email um, or put it uh, in the questions feature and I'll follow up with you. Um, it's the committed cost report. So that one's now done, but there's a bunch of reports they're working on um, and we're going to start seeing all of these um, um, shortly. And again, these will have to be installed on your machine uh, or, or not machine. Sorry, I sound like the old fashioned stuff installed on in your environment. Um, insurance tracking, compliance, lien waivers, all that's coming out. Uh, that's one area that Sage has um, knows that they need to focus on. And those all. So the, again, the, any vendor insurance tracking, lien waivers, um, compliance is really a major area. Um, they're going to improve the ability to handle joint payment, secondary vendor um, aspects. There are ways of handling that now in the system, but they are going to be improving upon that. And then last but not least, um, tax usability. So sales tax is a um, in the in the construction area is unique. Every state has its own challenges, and uh, there are some usability improvements that they're making to handle those features much better. Um, in the old Sage 300 product, um, it handled, a lot of this was done manually with Sage Intact. The nice thing is that it, the Intact, the Av integration Avalara is really strong. So again, trying to enhance the tax usability with the integration with Avalara is one of the key aspects they're working on. Again, these are our proposed, things we're working on. Um, they're all working on all of these, but at the same time, we do not know the exact delivery date. So I, I want to put that little disclaimer in there, but these are things for 2023 to, to be excited about. The next thing that they are rolling out is something called their AP bill automation. So this was um, put into an early adopter program in 2020, early 2022. And what this is used for is for AP bill, so not purchase orders. So it will not work with commitments or subcontract um, um, invoice, some contractor invoices, things like that. But this is um, for AP bills. Uh, what this is really nice is that you can um, scan in or um, email a document uh, and a bill and to an email address and the system will pick it up and um, bring it in and um, do all the processing and put it into a draft form within your Sage Intact automatically for you. So nice, really cool feature uh, that we've seen um, some clients using that uh, for, again, their AP bills and with a lot of success. And again, it'll be available for the general rollout um, um, ne starting ne next or tonight actually, but again, it's not for purchasing. So one of the other things that they are doing is that they are creating an integration with a product called time, uh, Tax Bandits. Um, tax Bandits is an IRS authorized e-filing provider. And so in the past, um, you would have to use a marketplace provider if you were doing any 1099s electronically. Um, so if, if you have over 250 um, 1099s, you got to issue out the that 1099 electronically to, or you have to file that to the government electronically. Um, with Time Bandits, this is now all going to be integrated. You don't need to go out to the third uh, third party marketplace. Um, for this year, for 2022, um, it's a limited number of people on the Time Bandits product, and so for our clients, we are recommending that we go through the way that they have been done year after year by using one of the marketplace providers. And um, then 2023, um, you'll be using the time bandits instead um, going forward. The good thing is that all the 1099 forms have been updated in this release. So we'll be ready again to do our 1099 processing, which we'll go over next month. 
um, within Sage Intact. Remember that 10, all these 1099s are due at the end of January. Please, please, and I'll say it one more time, please do not wait until January 31st to contact us for help getting your 1099s done. Um, it's, our, it's one of our busiest times of the year and we get a lot of call volume for people asking questions about form alignment, things like that. And we wanna make sure that we are able to help you in a timely manner. So please, again, work on your 1099s second first second week of january it makes our life and your life a lot easier and less stressful other improvements so first of all there's a product called sage intelligent time they've added some additional features in there um, for those who do not or for not familiar with sage intelligent time this is a free mobile app that sage offers if you go out to time.sage.com you can kind of take a look at it a little bit um, but this is a free mobile app that allows you to just basically do time entry out in the field right from your um, um, Android or um, uh, iOS phone or Apple phone. And um, if you have any questions on that, happy to answer that. But it's a um, they made some improvements to that. There is a Sage and Tech budgeting and planning um, tool that we got a couple clients running on, and um, it's a great tool. They've added two really good features with this release. One is the ability to do grid entries in a few of the um, screens that have people have requested on. So you can now toggle to a grid entry um, aspect. So it makes it much more like Excel. And then the other thing that I love is the ability to import statistical accounts from Sage Intact into um, Sage Budgeting and Planning. And so you can now take your statistical information and be able to do financials and budgeting based upon headcount or based upon number of tons or a number of jobs, things like that, that you wanna create statistical accounts for and then have budgeting purposes based upon that. And then one of the last things that are coming out uh, with this release is the two new audit reports. Um, these are um, to help you with uh, compliance purposes, things that people have been wanting, and you can install those through the audit history. Um, you, sorry, you can do the package library. Um, there'll be directions on on after the, um, excuse me, there'll be directions available after the release. You'll be able to see that in the release notes. We'll walk you through it. If you need any help installing those on your system, we would be happy to do so. It'll take us just a couple seconds to get that uploaded on your environment. And again, that will be available after tonight's update. Mo, I went really fast there. Um, and again, it was budgeted for like 20 minutes, but I was uh, making sure there is any questions here um, from the group at this point. So one of the questions that came in was, is that for the updates, uh, do we have to be out of the system? So you don't, so at the time that it starts, again, it'll be around 10 o'clock central time you'll get a notice right beforehand saying maintenance is going to be being performed and then at that point it will log you out automatically and then if you try to log in you'll get a message saying the system's under maintenance at that point um, and you will not get an email notification afterwards it will just be available um, so the maintenance once the maintenance period is done and the next question is, yes, everyone will be on the same, so everyone's on the same version of Sage Intact, um, which is great. So so this apply, this goes out to everyone. So no, there's no, you can't say, hey, I don't wanna be updated or anything like that. This is the best part about Intact is that everyone's gonna be upgraded or at the exact same time, everyone's on the same version, uh, makes support much, much easier. I am not seeing any other questions coming in from the audience, the group. So if there is any other questions that come in, um, if you think of anything, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, Sir Blumenthal, and um, we are excited to have you guys as clients. And, um, and if there is anything that in the future, any types of trainings that you want, I know we did one yesterday on credit cards. We had a very large audience on that one. Um, 
let us know. You can always go out to our um, blog page at ethosystems.com slash blogs. Um, you can also just go out to our webpage and click on the blogs link at that point. Um, you can also go out to our YouTube channel. If you go out to youtube.com, um, type in ethosystems, all one word, and you will be able to find a lot of videos that we've created, including this one that will be published probably um, early next week. Um, any of our webinars are up there as well. So feel free to visit those. So with that, I'm going to give you back a little bit extra time of your day and really appreciate everyone joining and have a great day and have a great weekend. Take care.